Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza and this is a bullet journal setup video for 2020. For this year, I am using this sleeve journal from Scribbles That Matter. I will definitely put the link to this journal in my description box. And yes, I know I am kind of late uploading and sharing my setup with you guys. I'm still busy moving into my new house and speaking of the house, um, I am currently in the phase of organizing and arranging and buying new things for the house because the house was pretty basic and empty when I first bought it. But I am very very excited about the house because I finally have my very own separate working room where I can work on my projects as well as record videos for my YouTube channel. But let's put that aside and let's talk about this spread. Um, this is my future log and in case anyone is curious, this is the same layout I've been using since 2018. I really like this kind of layout because I can actually see the whole year calendar and it kind of makes it feel easy to plan ahead. This is where I log all the important events or dates or anything that occurs in future months. You guys can also see me checking the dates on my phone to make sure that I write everything correctly. And if anyone is wondering, I do not have a year in a glance because I don't want to write all the numbers twice so this future log also serves as my yearly calendar. After I finish writing down all the numbers and after my fingers hurt a little bit from the writing, I then went ahead and write down all the months for this year. For the header, I am using the Black Tombow Dual Brush Pen. I then decided to decorate this spread with the gold yellowish pen I've cut from Pepper House. Um, you guys can see me using this pen a lot in this setup together with the grey Crayola Super Tips. This is actually the same leaves design I did for my December theme. I will also put the video for my December in my description box. For the next spread, this is also the same layout I used for 2019. I consider this a very important spread of all the spreads I have this year. This is where I track my money, all the bills needed to be paid and my income for the entire year. And in case anyone doesn't know, I am working as a full-time freelancer. So I do not have a basic salary, my income depends on the project I receive. So this spread is actually very helpful for me in terms of tracking my income and also my expenses throughout the year. For this spread, I'm using the dots to divide the months and I divide it into three sections which are for my bills, my income and also my savings. I'm also using the same header style you see in my previous spread. And for the decoration, I decided to use some decorative tape I've got from Mr. DIY. I have a video of me stationary shopping at Mr. DIY linked in my description in case anyone wants to check it out. 
I also decided to create the washi tape effect with my fine liner just to add a little more decoration to this spread. On to the next page, we have this Quran tracker. I know not everyone needs and use this tracker, so you guys can definitely skip this page if this is not for you. I'm using the calligraphy pen together with the black Tombow dual brush pen for the header. The numbers in the boxes represent the juzu or the sections in the Quran. I will go and color in the numbers once I complete reading one juzu and the blank spaces underneath the numbers is where I put the dates when I complete reading the whole Quran. The next page is my books tracker. I completely ditched my books tracker last year. I only read one or two books last year, but hopefully I can read more this year. Um, for this tracker, I draw eight boxes. I also leave some spaces to give my own review on the books I read in 2020. I'm not really into reading, but when I do, I do prefer non-fiction books. So if any of you guys have any books suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. It will be very helpful for me. Here you can see me go back to the previous tracker and add some washi and decorative tape to decorate the page. Now this is a new spread in my bullet journal. Um, for the record, I never gained 50 kilograms in my entire life. So 2020 is the year to achieve that. A lot of people making fun of how skinny I am. I am very very tired of hearing people say you are too skinny or you are too tiny but no I'm not going to gain weight for them I'm doing this for myself I just want to see if I can actually gain at least 50 kgs so I would really appreciate it if you guys can give me any suggestions on how to gain weight on to the next page we have this period tracker Nothing fancy with this spread. The letters represent the months and the numbers represent the dates of the year. I'm also using the same header style for some consistency. Here you can see me go back to the previous page to decorate this page with the same leaves design. The next page is my 2020 goals. I divided the goals into two sections which are for my work and my personal goals. 
again nothing really fancy going on in this spread i do not want to make myself feel overwhelmed with the goals that i set for 2020 so i keep things simple with this spread I also decorate this spread with the washi tape effect with my fine liner together with the grey washi tape. For this next page, this is actually just a collection spread. Um, this is where I put all the themes I use for my 2020 bullet journal. So I just draw 12 boxes to represent the months in the year. So by the end of 2020, I will have all the themes I use on one page. The next page is the bullet journal ideas page. I have the exact spread in my 2019 bullet journal. This is a very helpful spread, especially when I wanted to jot down any ideas I have for my bullet journal. For this spread, I divided the page into two sections, which are for the themes and also for the spread ideas. The next page is quite similar with the previous page but this one is the video ideas page for my YouTube channel. This is where I list down all the video ideas I have for 2020. I decorate this page with the same leaves design by using the same gold yellowish pen. The last spread for this year setup is this quote page. You can see me going on with my pencil first to make sure everything is nice and center. I then use the same fine liner I used for the whole setup to write down the quote with this calligraphy style. And I also draw the same leaves design and added some washi tape to complete the decoration. So here's the final flip through of my 2020 setup. I really like how it turned out. And you guys know me, my spreads are always so simple and minimal. And I think all the spreads that I created for 2020 are very easy to recreate. So let me know and tag me if you guys recreate one of these spreads. So before we officially step into the brand new year, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for all of the amazing support you guys showed me the entire year. Hopefully 2020 will be an amazing year for all of us. So let's start the new year with new hopes, new goals and let's kick some Alright guys, before we end this video, as usual, let me know if you guys have any questions and I really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my baby channel by subscribing. Talk to you guys again in the next video. Until then, Happy New Year, stay safe, Assalamualaikum, bye bye.